Canadian, Rory Bushfield, and this is Epic TV. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gone. Don't need a job. Yeah. We're here at Red Bull Line Catcher in Les Arcs. Is this your first time here? Uh, it's my first time in Les Arcs, yeah. I've been a line catcher before. Okay, and how did it go for you last time? Uh, last time I crashed all three runs. Oh. Yeah, that was tough, but that's the way it goes, man. I, I went a little too big. Is there anyone here that you see as a threat to a you threat. Uh, making it to the top? Oh, I don't know if there's a threat, man. There's guys that I'm going to love to watch skiing. Okay, man. yeah. Like Sage is going to be sick to watch, mm -hmm. and I love Oakley White Island style, man. And I'm stoked to watch uh, Nico ski, and oh, there's a bunch of good skiers. Yeah. It's exciting, man. It's cool to be linked up with a bunch of amazing skiers that yeah. I look up to okay. and get to ski with them, man. As I understand it, you're a, bit of, you're a former World Cup racer, is that right? Uh, mogul skier. Mogul, mogul skier, skier, okay, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. even more intense. Okay. <laughs> How did you get into moguls as a focus? Like, where did that come from? Uh, I think I just started, that was the first thing I got into as like a competition when I skied as a kid and, and then my dad, my mom and dad put me in the mogul, like the freestyle club and it was awesome man, yeah. I got to travel around, I ended, I ended my career skiing a world cup, like the whole world cup mogul tour which was my main goal and I got to be junior world champion one year you know, over in nice. Finland so it was yeah. good dude and it just evolved into, into what I do now you know, I was like I feel like I stopped skiing moguls at a good time and yeah. started Traveling around skiing powder, dude. And How was the filming. Finland, by the way? It's quite flat, isn't it? Yeah, there's there was a hill there. It was, was a pretty, a hill, yeah. So, that's the <laughs> there was a hill, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's an animal. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's in his shorts and <laughs> his right, bare feet. Well. So. Yeah. Well, how's that, how's that going for you? You might notice, actually, if you look again, there is a bit of a I've patch. Like, he's, this guy's phenomenal. Like how early did you begin? Like, what was the what age did you begin? Skiing? I started skiing when I was two. My folks start bringing me oh, to the hill. Super early. Yeah, man. amazing, dude. So it's like second nature, man. I have yeah. to always just take it in. You know, yeah. the ski hill is such a cool place. We're, we're so lucky to have them, man. Yeah. It's chair lifts and lodges and just everything, man. It's very really come up here, especially in Europe, man. It's, that's what I love about it. It's the accessibility. It's so easy, man. It's been around for so long. Sometimes you're like riding up the chair with your best friends, like eating just the chatting, best yeah. lunch. You're just like, man, could yeah. this end? It's taking you to the top of the best run. It's, it could it be better? I read somewhere that you've got some bushcraft skills. You're known for a bit of survival stuff, is that right? Is that <laughs> A little bit, man, yeah. I guess I'm known for it. If you yeah. look, I just got a new ski with Nordica, the Bushy Wayne, and if you look at the graphic, there's all sorts of stuff from my garage, okay. grappling hooks. What's the what's the biggest thing you made, or, or the thing you're most I proud made of? I a event? super sweet chandelier that's now in Retallic Lodge, which is a, a cat skiing lodge out in interior BC, nice. famous one. Yeah, man. Did you sell it for there. serious No, I gave, it to him. <laughs> yeah. I gave it to him. Oh. But I did sell a, a table once for $2,500 into this like billion dollar, no, probably $10 million house in Whistler. Oh. I got to move it in. I was like, uh. I cannot believe <laughs> yeah. I pulled this it, off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Like, uh, have you got a project yourself this year? I'm gonna do some work with the Sherpa Cinema, oh, film nice. for their new movie. Should be pretty good. Their last movie, All I Can, was amazing. Man. Yeah. It's just their film work and those guys, super cool crew. I like it a lot. What man. is it you're you're really hoping to achieve from the movie, though? Uh, from the movie, I got some plans in the works and filmed a little bit. It's a two-year plan. Went to Nepal with those guys oh, man. in How was uh, that? September. It was oh, so cool, dude. Yeah. Nepal is amazing. Must have been pretty massive, pretty epic, pretty. Overwhelming almost. Dude. Yeah, it is. Dude. Yeah. It's like, yeah, just being in that environment, like mm -hmm. being in the Himalayas is insane. Dude. Like, it makes yeah. these mountains look small. Yeah. And these are huge, man. Yeah. Our mountains look small compared to these. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rory, thanks very much. And you can go back inside now right, and uh, you. get, get your feet warmed back up. <laughs> really hardcore. Thanks very much.